The story kicks off by introducing a young and lovely girl named Oh Young Sim, who works as a film producer. She gets scolded by her boss, who cancels a film project she was working on without clear reasons. Just then, another beautiful woman named Ki Jin shows up, ready to start her career as a film producer. Yang Sim is replaced by He Jin, who is considered more suitable for the job. As Yang Sim is about to leave, she notices a file named Arrow of Love, the company's new TV show project. Determined to prove herself, she takes the file and asks for another chance. She wants to show that she can do better than He Jin. In her office, Yang Sim has a co-worker named Chi Dong, who secretly has feelings for her. He's always there to help her when she needs him, like now. However, Yang Sim doesn't notice his affection. Yang Sim comes from a comfortable middle-class family and has an older brother and a pretty younger sister named Jin Sim. She offers her sister a role in her upcoming TV show, but Jin Sim declines, choosing to work for the famous Kingvali company instead. The following day, Yang Sim and her team are still puzzled about who to recruit. Yang Sim even considered offering a position to her friend, who is a YouTuber, but they declined the offer. It was at that moment that Chi Dong came up with an intriguing idea. Chi Dong suggested recruiting the CEO of Kingvali, an American company with its CEO currently in Korea. He believed that having the CEO on board would guarantee the success and popularity of their show. Intrigued by this proposal, Yang Sim recalled her sister mentioning her connection to Kingvali. Without wasting any time, Yang Sim contacted her sister, who promptly provided her with the CEO's email address. Filled with excitement, Yang Sim composed an email and sent it off, all the while sitting in a cafe with Chi Dong, anxiously awaiting a response. As the night wore on, they still haven't received a response from the CEO of Kingvali and Yang Sim began to lose hope. However, just when she was least expecting it, a response finally arrived from the CEO of Kingvali. What the CEO agreed to attend her event, and her friend Wol Suk also agreed to come on board. The very next day, Yang Sim and her team worked tirelessly to prepare everything for the event, hoping for its success. As they welcomed the other invited guests, they couldn't help but notice the absence of the CEO of Kingvali. Their hope began to dwindle, but just when they were about to lose all hope, the CEO of Kingvali, Wan Kyung Tae, arrived. Yang Sim was taken aback by his presence, and it triggered a memory. In a flashback that took place two decades ago, a young Yang Sim had been asked out by a young Kyung Tae. However, she had declined his invitation, thinking he was not good looking. Despite her rejection, Kyung Tae, who had deep feelings for Yang Sim, had given her a pair of earphones with her name engraved on them. This small act of kindness had a profound effect on Yang Sim, and she had agreed to meet him on her birthday. On the promised day, Yang Sim had eagerly waited for Kyung Tae at the agreed upon location. Hours had passed without his arrival, and she had mustered the courage to call this home. Her heart sank when she learned that Kyung Tae had gone to America to live with his parents, leaving her waiting in vain. Yang Sim found herself at a loss for words. At first, she had thought that Kyung Tae's departure, someone who had always annoyed her, would bring her happiness. However, the reality left her feeling empty and overwhelmed with a deep sense of loss. Fast forward to the present, Yang Sim, who still had Kyung Tae's face etched in her memory, couldn't help but ask if the person before her was her childhood friend. Regrettably, Kyung Tae pretended not to recognize her. At the same time, Yang Sim received a surprise when Chi Dong informed her that one of the female participants in their show had been in an accident and could no longer take part. Moreover, their company's leader, named Gil Dong, arrived to supervise the project. Determined to prove herself to Gil Dong, Yang Sim stepped up and volunteered to participate in the show. And the show commenced. It was a matchmaking program where participants picked their potential partners based on their first impressions. The male participants then cast their votes, and Wol Suk was chosen as the most beautiful woman by two of them. Following the voting, the show proceeded to the blind date segment, where each participant went on dates with each other to determine the best couple. Yang Sim went on her first date with the top candidate, but unfortunately, Things didn't go as smoothly as she had hoped. Meanwhile, Kyung Tae found himself paired with the top female candidate. His charming and funny demeanor won her over, leaving her utterly speechless. Following that, Yang Sim went on her second date, this time with the second male candidate. Unfortunately, her date didn't go well, and it ended badly. In contrast, Kyung Tae had a different experience on his date with Wol Suk. He took her to an amusement park. Before enjoying the park's attractions, Kyung Tae led Wol Suk into a small room for a private conversation. 
This unexpected move was witnessed by one of the crew members, who found it quite shocking. Afterward, the third date commenced, with Kyung Tae and Yang Sim paired up this time. The theme of their date was a karaoke duel. In this friendly competition, the winner could request anything from the loser. Kyung Tae emerged victorious with a score of 97, surpassing Yang Sim's score of 89. As per their agreement, Yang Sim had to fulfill Kyung Tae's request. Kyung Tae then asked Yang Sim to join him in buying a pair of earphones. He did this to remind Yang Sim of the importance of appreciating gifts from others. Interestingly, those earphones with Yang Sim's name on them, originally given as a gift by Kyung Tae, had been passed on by Yang Sim to someone else in the past. Yang Sim wasn't ready to accept this, and she firmly told Kyung Tae that respecting others' feelings was essential. She believed that leaving someone without a word was a disrespectful act. Kyung Tae, still recognizing Yang Sim's face, suddenly called out her name loudly, surprising everyone present and revealing that they already knew each other. Not long after the final event began, in this last part, they would vote again based on their experiences from the blind dates. One by one, the participants made their choices. Kyung Tae received three votes, and when it was his turn to choose, he surprisingly picked Wolsuk. This made Kyung Tae and Wolsuk the winning couple of the event. Yang Sim, witnessing this, felt both surprised and disappointed. Her disappointment grew when Kyung Tae gave the earphones he had bought with Yang Sim to Wolsuk as a gift for her victory. Afterward, it was announced that the show Arrow of Love had achieved great success with excellent ratings and had become the number one show in Korea. Yil Dong, as the company director, was delighted with Yang Sim and her team's accomplishments. Moreover, he planned to prepare an even bigger show that Yang Sim would produce. However, on that day, Yang Sim didn't come to work, claiming to be sick. In reality, she wasn't physically unwell. She lacked the enthusiasm to face the date due to her lingering frustration from the previous disappointment when Kyung Tae didn't choose her. Meanwhile, Kyung Tae was in a meeting with Gil Dong to discuss their upcoming project. Gil Dong introduced Chi Dong as the producer for the next project and mentioned that Yang Sim had always been close to him. This revelation surprised Kyung Tae. After their brief meeting, driven by curiosity, Kyung Tae decided to ask Chi Dong directly about it. Surprisingly, Chi Dong openly admitted that he had been close to Yang Sim for a year and confessed his deep love for her and Kyung Tae was left speechless upon hearing this. Chi Dong's words had a profound impact on Kyung Tae, and even into the night, he couldn't stop thinking about the confession. By morning, still preoccupied with Chi Dong's words, Kyung Tae opened a drawer and found the earphones he had once given to Yang Sim, perfectly preserved. He was determined to return them to her. On that day, Kyung Tae went to Yang Sim's house to apologize in a gentle manner. Unfortunately, Yang Sim wasn't at home that day, on the other hand, Yang Sim was out drinking with Chi Dong. She was still upset and stressed because she had lost in her own show. To vent her frustration, she ended up getting extremely drunk. When Kyum Tae headed home, he discovered Yang Sim in a severely intoxicated state, with Chi Dong helping her get back safely. Kyung Tae immediately suggested to Yang Sim that they should put aside their animosity and go back to being regular friends. However, Yang Sim ended up hitting Kyung Tae. The next day, Feeling embarrassed about her actions, Yang Sim initially felt like she couldn't go to work. But, considering her many financial responsibilities, she pushed herself to go anyway. On that day, Gil Dong finally entrusted Yang Sim with producing all of his shows, which made her very happy. However, when he mentioned that the next project would involve working with Kyung Tae, Yang Sim immediately rejected the idea. Gil Dong insisted and even threatened to fire her if she refused. Meanwhile, Wol Suk, Unlike Yang Sim's currently successful company, was very upset because the number of viewers on her YouTube channel had dropped significantly. She then remembered a secret involving Kyung Tae from their collaboration during the Arrow of Love show. It turned out that Kyung Tae and Wol Suk had worked together to manipulate the winners of the show. Following that, Gil Dong, who was with Yang Sim, received disturbing news about the recording that exposed Wol Suk and Kyung Tae's manipulation of the Arrow of Love show. The recording had gone viral and become a hot topic in Korea. It severely damaged the reputation of Gil Dong's TV company, causing it to collapse almost instantly. Similarly, King Valley experienced a significant decline in sales, and most King Valley restaurants faced public boycotts due to the belief that Kyung Tae had been involved in rigging the show with Gil Dong's company. In a grand and commanding manner, 
Chang Tae instructed all his employees to stay calm, assuring them that he would handle the situation his way. Meanwhile, the mastermind behind the recording was revealed to be Wolsuk. Kum Tae then went to meet Yang Sim and Heel Dong in their office. He firmly expressed his readiness to join the next project with Yang Sim, determined to restore both Heel Dong's company's reputation and his own. Kum Tae generously offered to cover all the production costs for their upcoming show. In the midst of all this, Chi Dong learned the truth about Kum Tae's long-standing love for Yang Sim since childhood. Instantly, he regretted introducing the CEO of Kingvali to Yang Sim. Later that night, when Chi Dong visited Yang Sim's home, he experienced profound emotional pain. Yang Sim's father's attitude towards Chi Dong had changed dramatically since Kung Tae's arrival, and he was even asked to leave their house. The following day, Yang Sim visited Kung Tae's home to discuss their current project. She was captivated and impressed by the grandeur of Kung Tae's house. They talked about their future plans for the project, which now carried risks to their careers. Before giving an answer, Kyung Tae asked Yang Sin why she had chosen him to be part of the previous show. Before Yang Sin could respond, both she and Kyung Tae suddenly fell. When Yang Sin's family heard about the accident involving Yang Sin and Kyung Tae, they hurried to the hospital to check on Kyung Tae. They were so concerned about his condition that they insisted he stay at their home temporarily for proper care. Despite feeling a bit embarrassed by their continuous insistence, Kyung Tae eventually agreed to stay there. The next day, Chi Dong, who had heard about Yang Sim's situation, went to her house to check on her. However, he repeatedly felt heartache when he found Kyung Tae there. The affectionate treatment Yang Sim's family showed Kyung Tae only added to Chi Dong's emotional distress. Realizing that Kyung Tae was wealthier and more established than him, Chi Dong left with a heavy heart. Meanwhile, despite her poor condition, Yang Sim pushed herself to work. During this time, she received a call from Mol Suk, who asked about Kyung Tae's condition. Yang Sim informed her that Kyung Tae was doing well and staying at her house. This news shocked Wol Suk. Later that night, driven by her deep love for Kyung Tae, Wol Suk planned to go to Yang Sim's house to pick up Kyung Tae. On her way, she coincidentally met Chi Dong. Aware of Chi Dong's affection for Yang Sim, Wol Suk invited him to separate Kyung Tae from Yang Sim. In the meantime, Kyung Tae, who had come out of the accident unscathed, decided to go for a run around Yang Sim's neighborhood to maintain his attractive physique. After finishing his workout, he felt sweaty and planned to take a shower. However, when he entered the bathroom, he was surprised to find Yang Sim already in the shower. Both of them were taken aback when he opened the curtain, and this unexpected incident was witnessed by Yang Sim's niece, Ji Yu. The following day, Yang Sim and her entire team had their first meeting. As the project's producer, Yang Sim explained her plans for their next project. During the meeting, Kyung Tae seemed distracted, still thinking about the previous night's bathroom incident, leaving everyone puzzled. At that moment, Chi Dong received a message from Ji Yu, informing him about the intimate encounter between Kyung Tae and Yang, seen in the bathroom the previous night. This shocking revelation infuriated Chi Dong, and he abruptly left the meeting. Seeing Chi Dong in such a state, Yang Sim, as the meeting leader, postponed it for the next 10 minutes. After Chi Dong had calmed down, the meeting resumed. Since they were struggling to come up with a good idea, Wol Suk, who was also present, suggested that they hold their meeting outdoors during a vacation to spark creative ideas. The next day, the entire team headed to a beach owned by Kingvali. At the beach, they organized a sumo wrestling match to pass the time. When night fell, they all gathered for a meal together. After dinner, they played a spin-the-bottle game to entertain themselves where the person pointed to by the bottle had to answer a question truthfully. During the spin-the-bottle game, the first spin landed on Kyung Tae. He had to answer a question from the list, which asked if first love could become a reality. Kyung Tae looked at Yang Sim and confidently said that first love could indeed come true. Then, they spun the bottle again, and once more, it pointed to Kyung Tae. This time, the question made Kyung Tae nervous. It asked if he loved someone among those present. Feeling uneasy, Kyung Tae decided to take the punishment instead of revealing his true feelings. The bottle spun again, and this time it pointed to Yang Sim. The question this time was about the last time Yang Sim had been intimate. Yang Sim, feeling that she had never been intimate with anyone, honestly answered that she had never been intimate with anyone before. However, Kyung Tae, who was quite intoxicated, became angry with Yang Sim for not mentioning their intimate encounter in the bathroom the previous night. Kyung Tae's statement shocked everyone present, 
as they couldn't believe that Kong Tae and Yang Sim had already been intimate. Fortunately, the situation was diffused when Jung Won, who was feeling down because of his recent breakup, diverted the attention. Upon seeing Jung Won's distress, Kyung Tae advised him not to act rashly and even shared some tips on how to win back his girlfriend. With that, the event came to an end. Two days had passed since their beach trip, and they were all back, holding another meeting. During the meeting, Jung Won, who had successfully won back his love with Kyung Tae's advice, was overjoyed. Seeing his happiness, Yong Sim suddenly had an idea for their upcoming project, which everyone approved of. Their next show was going to be called Love Sign, and Kyung Tae and Yong Sim were shooting the promotional cover for it. The Love Sign advertisement had already been officially launched, drawing the interest of many people who signed up for the show. However, none of the numerous applicants had been selected. That was until a seemingly nerdy man shared his love story, which touched Yong Sim's heart, leading her to recruit him. A week later, the shooting process finally began at a remote location, keeping Yang Sim and the entire crew busy with preparations. As night fell, Kyung Tae arrived with the nerdy man, a participant in the show. Jung Won informed Kyung Tae about a wishing stone at the location, believed to grant all wishes made there. Upon hearing this, Kyung Tae, who wished to reunite with Yang Sim, went to the stone to make a wish. Meanwhile, at the wishing stone, Yang Sim and Chi Dong had just finished preparing some props. Before leaving, Chi Dong invited Yang Sim to pray and make some wishes. In that moment, unable to contain his feelings any longer, Chi Dong confessed his love to Yang Sim. She was taken aback and almost fell, but Chi Dong managed to catch her. Unbeknownst to them, Kyung Tae had arrived and witnessed the entire scene. After seeing what happened, Kyung Tae remained silent, appearing to have lost all hope, and was deeply heartbroken. The next day arrived, marking the start of their second day of filming. On this occasion, their activity was yoga. While everyone was settling into the yoga session, the instructor suggested they form pairs. Just as Wol Suk was about to invite Kyung Tae, Chi Dong stepped in and asked her to be his partner instead. This left Kyung Tae and Yang Sin with no other option but to team up together. As they began the yoga session, Kyung Tae's watch suddenly beat, indicating a fast heartbeat when he was near Yang Sin. To save face, Kyung Tae claimed his watch might be malfunctioning. However, at that very moment, the lead actor of the show experienced a leg cramp. Unfortunately, this meant the yoga session had to be cancelled, and it had a negative impact on their recording. Yang Sim blamed Kyung Tae for choosing yoga as their activity, but Wol Suk, who had feelings for Kyung Tae, defended him, saying he was trying to stay healthy. She pointed out that Kyung Tae's heart rate had been racing during the yoga session. Nevertheless, Kyung Tae didn't want to admit embarrassment and dismissed Wol Suk's claims by blaming his broken watch. He then took off and discarded the watch. The focus then shifted to Kiho, who was featured in the show visiting a wishing stone. Unexpectedly, the leading lady rejected Kiho's confession of love on camera. This shocking turn of events left Yang Sim and the rest of the crew in disbelief. Yang Sim was uncertain about whether to include this incident in the broadcast. However, Kiho approached her and requested that the recording not be aired. Yang Sim didn't want all her hard work to be wasted, so she tried to convince Kiho not to make a hasty decision. However, Kiho, feeling embarrassed after his love confession was turned down, grabbed Yang Sim's laptop and tried to delete the recording, and he also took her car. In an effort to salvage the situation, Yang Sim decided to follow Kiho. Meanwhile, Kyung Tae was getting his car ready to meet Chi Dong and got into a minor argument there. But at that moment, Yang Sim's younger sister, Soon Sim, informed them that Yang Sim had been kidnapped by Kiho. The entire team panicked and immediately began searching for her. While they were figuring out where to look for Yang Sim, Kyung Tae's phone suddenly rang, revealing that his discarded watch was beeping loudly from a distant location. It turned out that Yang Sim was wearing the watch. Realizing this, Kyung Tae and Chi Dong hurriedly went to find Kiho. Kiho and Yang Sim were near a lake. At that moment, Kiho intended to throw the laptop into the middle of the lake. Thankfully, Kyung Tae and Chi Dong arrived just in time. In the commotion, Yang Sim accidentally got hit by Kiho, causing her to faint. Seeing Yang Sim lying there, Kyung Tae asked Chi Dong to take her to his car while he tried to talk to Kiho. Kyung Tae began sharing his own love story with Yang Sim. However, Chi Dong interrupted Kyung Tae and informed Kiho that Yang Sim had rejected him in front of the Wishing Stone recently. 
Che Dong added that all his efforts to get closer to Yang Sim had been in vain. He encouraged Kiho to continue with his life, even if the person they loved was not by their side, all while gently taking Yang Sim's laptop from Kiho's hands. Once Kyung Tae had the laptop in his possession, he drove Yang Sim away from the scene. Inside the car, Kyung Tae seemed revitalized after hearing Chi Dong's confession about his unrequited love for Yang Sim. After leaving the location, Yang Sim woke up and found herself in front of her office. She returned Kyung Tae's watch that she had been wearing. Later at her office, Yang Sim received a message from Kiho, who agreed to let the recording be aired. The next day, at Yang Sim's home, Ji Yu was cleaning up Sun Sim in Yang Sim's room. After finishing, Ji Yu asked for her allowance from Sun Sim. However, since Sun Sim was working, she told Ji Yu to sell one of Yang Sim's belongings as compensation. Ji Yu immediately took a teddy bear from Yang Sim's room to sell. Meanwhile, Kyung Tae was troubled because he had been urgently called back to America for important matters. He was torn between pursuing his love or returning to America for an extended period to manage his company. The following day, Kyung Tae invited Yang Sim to come to his office with him. At the office, they were once again choosing new candidates for the next show. This time, a high school student named Min Ji shared a story that closely resembled Yang Sim and Kyung Tae's tale. She talked about how, when she was in middle school, there was a boy named Wu Chun who always followed and pursued her. However, Min Ji consistently avoided him and treated him coldly. After making a promise to meet on her birthday, Wu Chun suddenly disappeared. In high school, Min Ji encountered Wu Chun again, who was now attending the same school. However, this time, Wu Chun had changed completely and was distant towards her, much like how Yang Sim had been towards Kyung Tae in the past. During this period, Min Ji wanted to create her own story with Wu Chun by participating in the show. They held a meeting, and this time, Kyung Tae and Yang Sim were required to take part in the show and go on a double date. Since the employees were already familiar with Yang Sim and Kyung Tae's story, Wol Suk, who had learned about their upcoming date, was very upset about this decision. She tried to convince Chi Dong to do something about it, but he declined, stating that he would no longer interfere with Yang Sim since she had rejected his love. Out of his enduring love for Yang Sim, Chi Dong chose to let her be with someone else as long as it made her happy. That night, while working, Yang Sim accidentally stumbled upon a recording of Kyung Tae in front of the wishing stone. In the recording, Kyung Tae made a wish, expressing his hope that God would always grant whatever Yang Sim prayed for. The following day, the entire crew began filming with Min Ji at a bookstore. During this time, Wu Chun noticed a comic book titled Yang Sim, created by Yang Sim's father. Meanwhile, Yang Sim herself unintentionally fell asleep, leaning on Kyung Tae's shoulder. Seeing Yang Sim asleep, Kyung Tae, unable to wake her, ended up dozing off as well. During this time, Min Ji made several attempts to start a conversation with Wu Chun to ease the tension between them. Unfortunately, Wu Chun remained infuriatingly distant and even mentioned seeking revenge against Min Ji for something she had done in the past. He vowed to make her regret looking at him every time. Hearing this, Min Ji was deeply hurt and couldn't hold back her tears. She left the filming location abruptly, leaving the crew members to approach Yang Sim and Kyung Tae, who were still peacefully sleeping. They informed them that Min Ji had left. Kyung Tae, realizing that Min Ji must be hurt because of Wu Chun, immediately confronted Wu Chun and asked him why he was being so cruel to Min Ji. Wu Chun then explained his reasons for disliking Min Ji. Before entering high school, Wu Chun had given Min Ji a teddy bear. However, one day he found the teddy bear in the trash, making him feel unwanted by Min Ji. From that point on, Wu Chun turned his love into unrelenting hatred. Wu Chun then turned the question back to Kyung Tae and stated that their stories were similar. Kyung Tae, upon hearing this, was puzzled, wondering how Wu Chun knew about his past. Wu Chun handed Kyung Tae the comic he had been reading, which finally revealed something that made Kyung Tae feel guilty towards Yang Sim. After a long search, Yang Sim finally found Min Ji. She convinced Min Ji to continue with the filming, and Kyung Tae suggested they all have lunch together. But before that could happen, a man named Ho Jae suddenly appeared with a bouquet of flowers for Yang Sim. It turned out that Ho Jae was contestant number two from the recent Love Arrow show. Since the show, he had been smitten with Yang Sim and invited her for a blind date that evening. Wol Suk, who witnessed this, pressured Yang Sim to accept Ho Jae's invitation. 
Wolsuk even offered to make Yang Xim look beautiful for the date. Yang Xim, who had never worn makeup before, innocently agreed to go on the blind date. Kyung Tae, hearing this, could only stay silent but looked at Yang Xim with jealous eyes. Later that evening, Yang Xim met Ho Jae at a restaurant, looking very beautiful. Meanwhile, Kyung Tae, overwhelmed with jealousy, tried to ease his frustration by playing basketball. However, he couldn't shake off the memory of the comic he had read earlier. The comic revealed that Yang Sim hadn't actually given away the earphones Kyung Tae had given her. She had only loaned them out. It also told the story of how Yang Sim had waited for Kyung Tae at their agreed meeting place, holding a teddy bear she planned to give him as a symbol of her love. Upon realizing this, Kyung Tae didn't want things to end tragically. He rushed to Yang Sim's house and sneaked into her room in search of the teddy bear. Unfortunately, Ji Yu caught him in the act and questioned him. Kyung Tae had no more excuses left and admitted that he was looking for Yang Sim's teddy bear. Innocently, Ji Yu said she had sold it to someone else. Determined to retrieve the teddy bear, Kyung Tae immediately set off to find the buyer. After some searching, Kyung Tae finally found the person who had bought the teddy bear and repurchased it. Meanwhile, Yang Sim was on a blind date with Ho Jae, but she felt uncomfortable and kept imagining Kyung Tae being there with her. Realizing something was wrong, she told Ho Jae that the date couldn't continue. Although Ho Jae was naturally hurt, he understood and accepted whatever decision Yang Sim made. Yang Sim left the place and tried to call Kyung Tae, but her call couldn't go through. As she walked alone, Kyung Tae suddenly appeared in front of her, holding the teddy bear. He asked her why she had left her blind date with Ho Jae. Unable to hide her feelings any longer, Yang Sim admitted that Kyung Tae was always on her mind, bothering her. Hearing this, Kyung Tae, who truly loved Yang Sim, approached and kissed her. From that moment, they officially became a couple. The following day, Kyung Tae had a meeting with a noticeable love bite on his neck. Everyone who saw it was quite curious and wondered who the woman was who had given him, the CEO of King Valit, a love bite. All eyes were on Yang Sim, especially because she had met with Kyung Tae the day before. However, Yang Sim wanted to keep the relationship a secret and acted as if nothing had happened. Then, one of her colleagues informed Yang Sim about an article claiming Kyung Tae was in a secret relationship with a YouTuber. Yang Sim immediately suspected that Wol Suk had fabricated the article. Yang Sim up in the article. Kyung Tae, feeling that he had no connection with Wol Suk, immediately denied the rumors. Trusting Kyung Tae, Yang Sim encouraged him to make their relationship public, suggesting he create an Instagram story with her or change his WhatsApp profile picture to one of her. However, Kyung Tae believed they should keep their relationship a secret for now and said he would handle Wol Suk in his own way. That evening, Wol Suk went to Kyung Tae's house for dinner, as he had invited her. She was very impressed with the grandeur of Kyung Tae's house and even imagined herself living there with him. During dinner, Wol Suk deliberately tried to tempt Kyung Tae into an intimate relationship. However, Kyung Tae, who had strong principles and loved Yang Sim deeply, firmly refused to be swayed by Wol Suk's advances. He even told Wol Suk that he would never accept her love, neither now nor in the future. Hearing this, Wol Suk was shocked and speechless, as Kyung Tae had rejected her even before she had confessed her feelings. After that dinner, Kyung Tae left with a visible mark on his neck. Yang Sim and her colleagues noticed it and started questioning the nature of her relationship with Kyung Tae. Yang Sim, who still wanted to keep their relationship a secret, claimed that she and Kyung Tae were just co-workers and that she didn't love him. She even said that after their show ended, she would ignore Kyung Tae. Later, when her colleagues left, Kyung Tae immediately confronted her. He was furious with Yang Sim for putting her work above their relationship and using their love as a facade for the success of her show. Yang Sim, unable to understand Kyung Tae's feelings and only wanting to be understood herself, blamed Kyung Tae for prioritizing his business over her in the past. This made Kyung Tae very angry because they had agreed not to discuss their past anymore. Yet, Yang Sim brought up his past mistakes once again, making it seem as if Kyung Tae had never done anything good for her. Unable to contain his disappointment any longer, Kyung Tae left, saying he would end everything. As Yang Sim wanted to follow him, she received a call from Gildong, inquiring about the progress of the show she was working on. Because of Gildong's call, Yang Sim couldn't catch up with Kyung Tae. The next day, feeling that Yang Sim could no longer accept him, Kyung Tae said his goodbyes to Yang Sim's family, announcing that he would be leaving for America permanently. Initially, Yang Sim's family advised him to wait for Yang Sim, 
but because Kyung Tae was deeply disappointed with Yang Sin's selfishness, he chose to leave without seeing her. The following evening, Yang Sin, who had just returned home, was surprised to receive a message from Kyung Tae inviting her to end everything. Seeing the message, Yang Sin instantly felt regret for her selfish behavior towards Kyung Tae. Overwhelmed with guilt, she turned to Soju for solace. Even at that moment, Wol Suk, who had been rejected by Kyung Tae and was feeling hurt, joined Yang Sin in getting drunk. Meanwhile, Wu Chun received a message from Kyung Tae instructing him to treat Meme Ji well before Wu Chun met a tragic fate like his own. Seeing this message, Min Ji and Wu Chun realized that something was happening with Kyung Tae and Yang Sin. Recognizing this, they took quick action. Shortly after feeling sad, Yang Sin received a message from Min Ji asking for her help. Yang Sin immediately went to the location sent by Min Ji. Yang Sin went to the airport and unexpectedly came across Kyung Tae, who was about to board a flight to America. It turned out that Min Ji and Wu Chun had arranged for Yang Sin and Kyung Tae to meet before he left. Unfortunately, Kyung Tae, already disappointed, chose to ignore Yang Sin. Even when she asked if their relationship was over, he firmly confirmed that he couldn't continue it. Kyung Tae then left, leaving Yang Sin pleading for forgiveness. Two months have passed since that incident, and now Yang Sin can only reflect on her fate, once again far away from Kyung Tae because of her own selfishness. Her disappointment doesn't end there. Her show, which she produced, has lost popularity to Chi Dong's show. It's revealed that Chi Dong left Yang Sim's company after having his love rejected by her and chose to pursue his dream of becoming a film actor. He is motivated to prove that he can be more successful than Kyung Tae and is enjoying his success, wanting Yang Sim to regret her decision. Chi Dong has become a successful movie star, with one of his films becoming the number one movie in Korea. Meanwhile, facing failure again, Yang Sim meets with Gil Dong to report that her show is losing to Chi Dong's. Fortunately, this time Gildong offers encouragement for Yang Sin to rise again and create a more successful show instead of scolding her. Upon returning from there, someone suddenly called out Yang Sin's name. It was Kyung Tae, who had returned from America. Yang Sin brought Kyung Tae to her home, and her entire family was surprised by his arrival, especially since he looked very different from two months ago. Kyung Tae shared his story about his struggles in America. His company had gone bankrupt, leaving him with massive debt. He had to sell everything, including his house, car, and the company itself. Now, all he had left was his love for Yang Sim. Kyung Tae asked Yang Sim's father for permission to stay with them, but her father left the decision to Yang Sim. Fortunately, Yang Sim, who deeply loved Kyung Tae just as he was, accepted him to stay with them. However, she asked him to find a job because love alone couldn't fill their stomachs when they were hungry. From that day on, their days were filled with happiness. Kyung Tae, the genius, tried to develop a robot that could sweep and mop, which would help him rebuild his company. He named this robot Yang Simi, and it could be activated simply by giving it commands, without needing a remote or buttons. When Yang Sim's family tried to activate the robot, it wouldn't respond. However, when Kyung Tae declared his love for Yang Sim, the robot immediately came to life. The movie ended with a happy ending between Kyung Tae and Yang Sim, who were now back together forever. Moral lesson from the story, sometimes, love is like a robot. It might not always respond when you want it to. But if you keep trying and show your love, it can come to life and make your life happier.